Hey everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and today in Siege I'm gonna tell you guys about the Goyo shield placements on Villa in the kitchen dining room objective Now the first shield we're gonna talk about is this guy. This is my favorite one It protects you against laundry. The reason why I put it here and not in the door is because if I go to peak My entire body is exposed. So if you're a lower accuracy player Then you don't have to worry about oh they peaked it I gotta shoot the thing or I gotta hit him in the head and I have to expose myself a little bit more I have to peel all the way to over here before I can actually get behind cover and I'm still exposed right there. I can still get peaked. And if I move to the left, peek, 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 I'm not in a good spot. Not to mention, you can just start shooting this. The gas can is right here. That's kind of close to head level. So if someone's really smart, they can just go like this. My head is right there. So they just start shooting with a machine gun and get a headshot on me. You can also hit it from across the room. So right here, I can hit it. Not right here, but I can hit it from anywhere in this room on this side. I can also hit it from back here. I can peek it. This is a little bit of a dangerous one because unless I'm over here, if I peek it from the bomb, I get seen by the guy in the door first. That's a, a thing to be aware of. What's also nice is if they maverick this or it's soft, they can't get an angle on it. See that? They can't get an angle on it. This one, if you place it wrong and they open this up, it's easy for them to get an angle maybe too. But the way that it's placed uh, exactly where it is on this couch is the perfect spot so that you can stay inside of this room and shoot it from right here. Okay, uh, if basically a good test for it is if you can stand in this corner and you have a clear, so see that? I'm not in the corner now, I'm in the corner. If I'm in the corner, and I have a clear shot, like it looks like that, but from here, uh, they're gonna be able to shoot it from here. So it's really important that you have this, if you want to, reinforced, because you know, you're gonna be hiding behind here, and you have this reinforced, or else that whole side's exposed. The next shield is this guy. This one I just like kind of putting it there as an intimidation, right? Because they already have this cover. Granted, if they're crouched, they have to be looking at you anyways, but you know what? I personally think it's worth the risk, you know, yeah, they can crouch here and move up, but it's really dangerous for them. I like that spot right there. If you don't want to open that wall up, it's fine. It's kind of a 50-50 side because I can also hide back here and shoot it. So if you reinforce that wall, you can just shoot it from right here. If you do go from here, you will have to peek that door first, so be very careful. But if you manage to rotate over to here, you got a nice shot on it. and it's relatively easy to peek an impact, but you see right about here, you have that sp that space where you can get shot at. So be be careful with that. This shield I tend to use at the start of a match, and then once they figure out it's there, then I don't want to use it again because they're going to be able to abuse the fact that you know you can't see them. The next shield is right here. A couple reasons for this guy. One is it gives you cover from here, right? So. I can kind of peek this if I wanted to, but the main thing is I have cover right here and I can shoot it from the bomb and I can shoot it from back here. See, I can still shoot it. And I mean, there's a variety of reasons why. Instead of putting it in front of the door and the person can peek this guy, they're now exposed. Any spot in this, in this door, they are exposed, okay? And it, it's scary when you're exposed. I don't know about pro players, but what I do know is that if you're playing Siege and you get exposed, it's just really scary. The next shield is right there. Now, if you're on console, line up the edge of the shield with this blue thing. If you're on PC, line it up with this. Because if you put the shield there, I can shoot it from here, and it stops in advance, right? I mean, they can still run through, but it stops them from advancing, except if they want to go like this, they're going to get hurt, and I know where they're going to come from. See, right there, they're going to get hurt, so they can't even hide behind that. Now, if I put this shield down, this one's a good trial and error one. Helps you with Goyo shield angles. I can hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh my goodness. I can't hit it. So from the door, it's safe, using those little, little winglets on the side. So from the door, it's safe, but from the next sight line, behind the cabinet, I can shoot it. I can shoot it, but it can't get shot from the door. So that's a really good one. If you're the guy stuck behind here and maybe you want to cover yourself, bam, you got that. You can also hit that one if you put it there. 
This guy, if you're hiding behind this, you can shoot this. If you place this shield correctly, like forward a little bit, you can maybe hit it, but I don't like that. And you can't hit that if you're hiding in that spot. The last shield that I like to place down is somewhere over here, all right? Now this one, it depends on what you want. For me, I like to put it up close, okay? They don't get any cover when they use this shield from this guy until they go to rotate around to shoot the guy in the kitchen. But remember, I can also put a shield right here. And this guy, you pop it, it covers the whole area. Another thing you can do is, I totally just ran out of shields. Another thing you can do for that shield if you want to, this all depends on your preferences, right? So we had it right there, it covered the whole wall. I could angle it like this. Actually, that's a terrible angle. Let's try that again. All right, Yubi, be, be kind to me, gods. Like that. All right, Yubi was kind enough to give me the proper angle. So that if I have a roamer... Oh, well, you guys saw what was going to happen. It could have shot that. And if it's at that angle, you can't shoot it from here. So you have to pick between, do you want the guy behind bomb B to shoot it? Or do you want your roamer, if you have a roamer over here, to shoot it? Maybe you castle this up. I don't know why you'd have a roamer over here, but eh, you never know. Different strategies. So that's really it. Um, basically, to make this strategy work, reinforce this wall with three things, and you got all your Goyo angles covered. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to tell me in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you guys in the next one.